What's up everyone? I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to be going over all the nerfs and buffs that just happened in the Season 5 Reloaded update for Call of Duty Warzone. And there's some pretty major ones including the STG44 that you're going to want to know. And of course we're going to give you some loadouts and some bonus loadouts for you so that you can get a head start on your teammates and your enemies for Season 5 Reloaded. Let's get into it. Alright so these are the Season 5 Reloaded patch notes right here. Um, we're going to go over all these weapon nerfs and buffs for you. Starting out with the BAL27 got a pretty major max damage range buff here so that's going to be good dg56 got a small buff here fr556 got a slight buff as well modifier increase and a max damage range increase ogre 556 got a max damage range increase to 41 up from 36 i think this is going to help this one out even more the mcw got another buff which is wild to me and i think this will put it up in the top three we'll see how that feels and things like that but the damage ranges here got a buff and so i think that's going to help it out a lot like i said the stg44 did get a max damage decrease to 34 down from 36. I think they balanced this out, which is really, really nice. So I think it's going to hang in there. I think it's still going to be the top option, but it's not going to be as overpowered as it has been, which is going to be nice. The M16 Jack Patriot conversion kit, which turns it into the OG M4, that got a max damage range increase to 30 up from 24. So I think that's pretty significant when it comes to like a sniper support or just overall being in the meta when it comes to Rebirth Island. So we'll see how that feels. Bass B got a slight foot modifier buff here. Nothing crazy, but it did get a slight buff the mtz 762 the heretic carbine kit the max damage range increased to 33 up from 27 so that'll be interesting this is a weapon that i kind of like regardless of the carbine kit so i like this one quite a bit the soa subverter got a max damage range increase to 25 up from 20 so that got a slight buff so pretty solid there rival 9 got a max damage range increase so max damage range buff increased to 15 up from 12 so that's gonna be nice static hv got a slight nerf i think it's gonna be the number one option still yeah i think it got some maintenance here it's not going to be anything crazy headshot modifier decreased to 1.2 down from 1.4 so that'll be pretty significant when it comes to that but i think it's still going to be number one and i think the striker will be number two and the striker max damage range increased to 14 up from 12 and the near mid damage range increased to 26 up from 24 so this one got a slight buff again and i think this is a very solid option so you're looking at probably the static hv wsp9 and striker as your top three right there the lockman trout got uh, the decimator conversion kit that turns it into a full auto basically the mp5 max damage range increased to 13 up from 12 so that not a crazy buff there but it is a buff pull me at 762 i've always loved this this got a slight buff as well this has always been usable to me but i think this makes it even more usable and then you got that rpk jack cataclysm conversion kit which makes it like a dmr it got a slight nerf some more maintenance to it i say slight nerf it's just got some adjustments is kind of how i like to say that dm56 marksman rifle max damage range increased to 43 up from 36 that got a buff mcw 6.8 increase the rate of fire to 353 so that got a slight buff as well lower torso modifier increased to 1.2 up from one look at the mcw 6.8 i'm going to do a video on this probably i'm going to check it out and see if it does well then you had some adjustments to all these handguns and stuff no major buffs or nerfs but you got some hip fire adjustments and things like that so x13 autos and the daemon probably are still here pretty solid options f tech siege is pretty good too keep a lookout for those but those you know we'll see we'll see how it goes but these are the remember these are mw2 pistols but yeah i, I still like some of these options but you know nothing crazy buffed or nerfed in this area let me know what you guys think about these nerfs and buffs let's get you some loadouts for these all right starting out we're going to give you just kind of the uh mtz 762 now this doesn't have the conversion kit on it but i just really like this specific loadout we're going to run the quartermaster suppressor the mtz precision blackthorn barrel the paracord grip the jack glassless optic Next up, we have the SOA Subverter, which did get that buff, and the Bass B, which did get the buff. Don't pair these together. You can mix and match any of these loadouts. They are not in any specific order, but I just wanted to make sure that you guys have these loadouts for these buffed weapons. We're going to use the Quartermaster Suppressor for this SOA Subverter, Dozer 90 Long Barrel, Paracord Grip, 50 Round Drum, and then I'm rocking the Motion V2 Heavy Stock. This gives it a ton of recoil control, which was really, really nice. Then for the Bass B, which did get a slight buff, Quartermaster Suppressor, Bruin Venom Long Barrel. I like the Bruin Heavy Support Grip Under Barrel here or the Paracord Grip and the 45 round mag along with whatever sight makes you comfortable, but I'm using the Jack Glassless. Then the Rival 9 got a slight buff. I'm going to give you a loadout for that. I know a lot of people have been asking for that one. Quartermaster Suppressor, Paracord Grip here. That Sprint to Fire Speed is so crucial with this thing. Uh, the 40 round mag or the 50, whichever you prefer. The Rival Vice Assault Grip and the Rival FA Tactical Stock. Very, very solid here. 
Then that pull me out. I love the pull me out, dude. Quartermaster suppressor. We're rocking the Jack Annihilator long barrel, which you get by attaching the conversion kit for the Jack Annihilator bullpup kit. And then we're rocking the Jack Glassless Optic along with the Bruin Heavy Support Grip because the Paracord Grip is not available on this LMG. So use this. Let me know what you think about it. Then for that Lockman Shroud, of course, you're going to have that Jack Decimator kit, which did get a buff. And the Paracord Grip for that Sprint to Fire Dark Star Barrel. Sub OP ammo if you want. You can add a stock to it if you want, but I like the sub OP ammo with a 50 round drum. Attack Eradicator is 100% going to take over above the STG. It was already above the STG when it comes to anything past 47 meters. So keep that in mind. And then now it's definitely going to be a solid, solid option. Quartermaster Suppressor. We're rocking the Conquer 70 Long Barrel. Paracord Grip. High Grain Rounds. Along with the Attack Verde Core Stock. Next up, we have the DG58 LSW SMG. I think this one gets overlooked quite a bit. The left Holger 556, which is so, so solid. Uh, DG58, you want to add that Jack Nightshade Rifle Kit, the Quartermaster Suppressor, the 40 round mag. I like the Varanus Steady Grip here, along with whatever sight makes you comfortable. I like running the Jack Glasses or the NIDAR here. Completely up to you. Then for that Holger 556, we're rocking the Quartermaster Suppressor, the Cryo 6 Match Barrel, the Paracord Grip, the 40 Round Mag, and the RB Adult Assault Stock, which gives it awesome recoil control. Next, for that M16 with the conversion kit, we're rocking the Quartermaster Suppressor, the Bruin Pivot Vertical Grip. This is going to help that recoil kit quite a bit, which it does have quite a bit of. And then we're rocking a 60 Round Mag, Jack Patriot Kit, which makes it into that OG M4 or makes it full auto basically and the nidar model site here you can add high grain rounds or maybe a laser here but i like the nidar model site just feels more stable this bp50 smg is definitely within the top five smg category quartermaster suppressor the chimera laser light you're rocking the high grain rounds here the jack revenger kit which turns it into that smg and the trst4 grip tape I like the Superior 46. It, it's not, when it comes to TTK, it's not in the top five, but its movement just makes it so, so good that it's hard not to run if you like speed. And then that BAL 27, remember, got a buff, and we're going to give you a loadout for that as well. Call this one Grease Lightning. We're rocking the XRK Knockout Breach. Uh, this is the fastest way it can be built without being terrible. Uh, the Board 99 Short Barrel, XRK Edge Handstop Under Barrel, the 40 Round Mag, and that Rescue 9 Stock. It's so, so fast. For that BAL-27, we're rocking the Quartermaster Suppressor, the Crown H3 Barrel, the Paracord Grip, the 60 Round Mag. I like the Ardent Tack Stock here. It just really helps that recoil gun kick, as you can see. If you want to run a sight, maybe take off the Paracord Grip here, and you should be just fine. The next loadout, we, like I said, WSP-9 and this MCW just got a buff as well. We're rocking the WSP-9 with the Quartermaster Suppressor, his short light barrel, Paracord grip, 50 round mag, the Marauder grip, and that, that's going to be a very, very solid build for you. Um, let me know what you think about that one in the comments. And then the MCW, we're rocking the Quartermaster Suppressor, the Cyclone Long Barrel, the Paracord Grip here, the 60 Round Drum, and whatever site makes you comfortable, I'm rocking the Jack Glassless. Then we have the Striker paired with the STG. I think these are going to pair really, really well together. And then, of course, the MTZ 556 is going to be a very, very solid option for you. And paired with that Static HV, which I feel, still think is going to be the top SMG option until I have further time to look at the actual stats for it. But this Striker SMG, we're rocking the Quartermaster Suppressor, the Striker Recon Long Barrel, the Paracord Grip, the 48 Round Mag, the Lockman MK2 Light Stock here for a little bit more movement. And for that STG, it's going to be the same thing as it's been. We're rocking the Quartermaster Suppressor, the Heinrichter C70 Long Barrel, Jack Glasses Optic, along with that DR79 Combo Stock, and the 50 Round Drum. Like I said, it's not going to be as OP as it used to be, but that's kind of the point of the nerf.
Then for the MTZ556, we're rocking the Quartermaster Suppressor, MTZ Drifter Heavy Long Barrel, Paracord Grip here, the EXF Close Quarters Assault Stock, which is so, so solid, and the 50 Round Drum. If you found this video helpful or informative, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that noti bell, and hit that like button so you don't miss another video like this or like one of these. We'll see you in the next one.